driving desire for deep fried vibes takes us next to Chicago, Illinois. Chicago might be the second city, but it's no small fry. It's a big town with a huge appetite for deep fried dining. If you ever doubted that size matters, the proof is in Chi Town's Mexican food mecca, Dos Diablos. Here, feast your eyes on the freakishly fried fiesta phenomenon that is the Big Mel. It's an out of body experience. I'm in a food coma right now. This is great. It's delicious. up to his wicked sounding name with fiendishly fiery, demonically delicious, authentic Mexican favorites. But what makes this flashy, bustling place unique is the ginormous girth of the deep fried signature dish. The Big Mel is a bursting mega meal that draws a line in La Playa, and Double Diablo dares you to finish. Yeah, you can change the it's about a three and a half pound between four pounds. It looks delicious. It really is big enough for one. Oh, yeah. For the record, a chimichanga is a deep fried burrito drenched in sauce and melted cheese. And making a Mel, in this case with beef, begins with a trio of handmade 14-inch flour tortillas warmed on the griddle. That way, you know, when you roll the tortilla, it won't break. Let's start with the beef. You know, we put about, like, one pound. Next comes a half pound of shredded mozzarella and Monterey Jack cheese, plus beans. For the beans, I always recommend the red sauce. So we're going to do about, like, three ounces of red sauce inside. With more meat and cheese piled on, Mel is ready to roll. So the drink is a bowl, then, you know, it won't break. Time to deep fry this guy for about five minutes. Mel's so big, he needs an extra basket to keep from falling apart. He emerges from the canola oil glistening and crispy golden brown before another shower of Diablo's signature red sauce. And then we're going to finish with some cheese on huh? Finally, a 56-second vacation in the cheese melting toaster called the Salamander. There you go. Devouring Mel is a daunting task, so naturally it comes with a challenge. Challenge is you have 20 minutes to eat it. You have to finish the whole plate, the whole beans, the whole rice. Otherwise, you know, you pay for it. Now and then, a few brave souls take up the challenge in a brutal winner eat all. That proves nothing exceeds like excess. Challengers look doomed to fall victim 
to the big now. I'm at that wall, Brian. We're in this together.